So, I want banded wheels on my Mark 1 Transit. So, I found some on eBay. Thought, yeah, buzzing, but only two of them, that one and that one. Um, they've been banded quite well as well, they look all right. But, when you spin it up, look at that, it's way out. Proper bad, so I could either chop them up, start again. That one's even worse as well, that one. But what I've decided to do, and what I've got hold of, eBay again, is some barrels, 14 inch barrels. Now, they are the right width, what I want. I mean, look, if you look at the banded ones, they're pretty much similar, yeah. But, you see where you've got the recess, this is too wide. So basically, I could just put the centers in off a transit wheel, yeah. And these would be all right on the back because they'd go over the drums. But on the front, because this is a later Mark I, it's got discs, discs and calipers on the front. And hence this bump here is needed. So the idea is I'm going to chop one of the barrels right in the middle. Yeah. And then I'm going to use that part to band the standard wheel out rather than putting the band in it's just using half of the wheel we've got these here they're all the later ones with a solid with no vents around them so i'll cut a half a barrel and then what i'll do is i'll get this i'll chop the front off and then put that on the outside i'm just going to get a little bit, bit of a rig out on the balance of what i've got here because I can keep everything dead flush then, you know. So what I'll do is I'll set something up here for marking it. And I might even set a grinder up and a welder up on here and have some kind of, you know, like a drill rotating this while I'm welding. I don't know yet. I'll suss that out as I'm doing it. So that's the idea anyway at the minute. Right then, I've rigged up a bit of a grinder bracket. <laughs> Proper codged up that. Bit of flat steel, just screwed to that. And then a bit of angle, a couple of brackets, bit of a stabiliser. And there's just enough, you know, to push it in and out. So it should be all right, that, you know. Uh, give it a go anyway. It is working, it's working all right that. Take me a while to get through, but it is working. Not bad at all that actually. Not far off now that. Getting very close. Works a treat that. Getting close, just started going through in one area somewhere. Just there, we started going through. Right, I think I'm close now, so I'm gonna take it off. I'm just gonna try and knock the end off. Is absolutely perfect that. I've got just enough on there where I wanted to get the other bit over. Looks alright that. Belting. And that bit I don't need. <laughs> so the se second one I think we're dead close there as well. So pop that off and see if that's right. So good in. Perfect that one as well. 
Just about the right depth there of cutting. So that's number two. So I've actually cut all four of them. I'm going to have to cut one of these barrels in half now, right down the middle. So I'm going to have to rig that up, centralised on that somehow. <laughs> so I'll get on with that now. I've actually got one of these barrels in the centre of the other two what I've cut off to centralise it on here and hold it. And I've rigged out this, spaced out a bit more, I had to weld a bit more angle on just to space it out a bit more. So that's right in the centre of that now and it's dead dead flush and you know it's all steady so i'm going to cut through the center of this barrel but i can't go all the way through because it'll crush the disc so i'll get it pretty near and then i'll have to take it off and just finish it off by hand on the floor Get in there slowly. Battery's gone. There we go. Did did it. Happy days, mate. So. The idea is to get one of them over there like that. Should go on all right, that. And then you've got your bands <laughs> without banding. <laughs> Happy days, mate. So I've cut another one of them. And then I've got all my bits together then. So <clears throat> cut two of them barrels in half. So I've got four sections there. I've also got the four wheels themselves with the fronts cut off and I've just done a trial fit on one and look at that, it fits absolutely perfect. Well chuffed with that and it's just the right, about 50 mil what I was looking for. So normally you'd put a band in there and put the original rim back on, but I've not had to do that. So I think it looks quite good that. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get this one on there and give it a spin and see how flush it is. So I'll try that first. So I've got that one chucked on there now and nipped up. Give it a spin. That looks pretty good to me, that at the minute. Not bad at all, that. You've got a little bit of a bump there from where the cross weld is, but here is absolutely perfect. Well chuffed with that. So, I think what I'm gonna do now is get all these cleaned up and then just knock them on the wheels like I've done with this one. And then um, tack weld them all when I've spun them up and got them all level. Then I'm going to have to rig up my MIG welder like I did with the grinder. And then get some kind of speed system on this, I think. <laughs> so that's it. They're all ready for welding. I'm well chuffed with them. Done them other two as well. So now I'll rig the welder up. So I've tacked them all up, and they're all bob on them. Um, what I've done is I've just codged my welder on that. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn it as I'm welding by hand and see how we get on with that. I think it'll be all right. There's one done. That'll do me that. Not bad that. Let's check it all, but yeah, looks fine to me that. So 
Another one done. Belting, mate. Working all right, that. Another one done. Not bad, that. Last one done and dusted. Well, chuff with that. Not too bad, that. That P days, mate. So that's all of them welded up now. So now I've just got to drill the valve hole in a couple of them. And I think that's about it then, ready for getting blasted and powder coated. So if you can't get hold of any barrels, then you can use two steel rims. Uh, these are already banded, these. Uh, but imagine they're not. Like, that would be the normal outer section, that, on top of there. So that would be like that. So what you do, you'd cut off that like normal, as though you're going to band it, throw that away. But then with your other wheel, you'd cut off the back section so you'd start cutting about here. If you look where the spot welds are there, you just do it down a little bit. So you end up cutting that section all the way around, taking that section off. And with that already cut off, you put that section on. So it's like you've got that section flipped round and there. Now I know like it's not the same as inner banding, but it's like it's outer banded because this sort of bulges out instead of being flush, you know, like this. But it still looks good. A lot of people go for it, the outer band in these days, because it's just a different look, in it? So yeah, you can do that. If you've got two of the same steel wheel, you can make one banded out of both of them. So just bear that one in mind. So I've just got my wheels back from the powder coaters. They look absolutely min. Well chuffed with them. Not bad at all, them. Come out all right. Just got a few bits on him. Buzzing them, mate. That'll do me. So, nice one to cyclone powder coating in Stockport. Done me proud there. Not bad at all. Even done the inside all good and everything. Yeah, I'm well chuffed with them. Proper quality, that. Can't wait for me tyres now. Really nice job that. So my tyres have just landed. It's a Cooper Cobra radial GTs. Got the white writing on the side there. Looks blue at the minute, but it'll be white when I cleaned it off. So yeah, I'll get them shucks on I think. So there's one on, a bit difficult to get on, I had to use the old uh, explosion trick, <laughs> but yeah, do that with them all, look alright then don't they? So that's all the tyres on. So now I'm going to chuck them on the balancer and get them balanced up. Check them bad boys out. They look absolutely amazing. Just got to clean off the blue and the white lettering, but I am over the moon with them. 
well chuffed with him. Not better than them things. <laughs> so I'll just give them a wipe down, got all the blue off, and they look even better. <laughs> I just can't stop looking at him. I think I might sit in here all night and just look at him. <laughs> Absolutely buzzing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.